Welcome to Vegas! Try to be... What happens in Vegas goes on YouTube. <laughs> Good morning. I'm currently ready to go to Las Vegas for my cousin's bachelorette party. I've never been part of a bridal party before. Can I say hi? Hi. So we'll see what happens this weekend. Bye, baby. I love you. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. I just made it in the room. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I need to give you a little tour. Here's the entrance. We have this big closet. I think one of the girls has a connection with this tequila seltzer brand. You know, um, Shay Mitchell. So she got us a ton. This is our bathroom. Everybody already checked in, so that's why it's a mess. Oh my god, a bathtub. And then you walk in. We have this full-length mirror. That way you can make sure that your outfit is fine. <laughs> And our rooms actually connect, but we have the beds over here, our sh everywhere. I think this is Melissa's room, my cousin, but it's literally the exact same, but everyone is at lunch right now, and I have some decorations that I wanted to put up in the room, kind of like a trimming with tart surprise, so look at all of these drinks. <laughs> God. Okay, let me give you. Oh, wait, this is also our view. Ta da! You can see the pool over there. But let me give you a haul of everything that we got for the room. Okay, first of all, we got one pair of pajamas for the bride, but I honestly wasn't really feeling it. Like, I feel like we spent so much money in the fuzz. It's just like, girl, this is not what it looked like in the fucking photo. So we have this as an option. And here's the pants, but I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that one. So we went on Boohoo, and I feel like these ones are a bit cuter. We got the bride pajamas i'm finally gonna open it i didn't open it because i didn't want it to get wrinkled it looks like this and it says bride on it i think the feathers are way cuter on this one. Oh, she's kind of flying everywhere and then the pants look like this i think it's way cuter and it says bride on it so for the decorations we got this balloon art arch arc i did not bring a pump oh it's a blow into a straw so I'm a little hungover, but let's pray that this is okay. And then we have this sign that just says bride to be. I think I'm gonna put this in their bathroom. This one's gonna be easy to put up, but that's everything that we got at Boohoo. I'm gonna set it up because I think they're gonna come back any minute and I want them, I want it to be all set up by the time they get back. Oh, this is so cute. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Oh my God. This is not a one-person job. This is taking all of the energy I have. Woo! Only a million more to go. It's really cool. You like, you blow up all the balloons and then you put them in this thing and then you can arrange it however you want. I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Also, look at this one. This one has confetti inside of it. Ah! Oh my God. Here we go. Maybe I should text him. <laughs> what the f***? Look how cute. Ta-da. Pajama says. Oh my god. My fingers are turning purple from tying all of these balloons. I'm just glad that I didn't break any nails. Oh, this one's so cute. All right, I'm going to keep blowing. That's what he said. That's what she said. shower and I feel so much better. Oh my god, wait, they're here. Surprise! Ah! 
Hold up, I need to show you guys or tell you who everyone is in the bridal party. For a lot of us, it was our first time meeting in Vegas. So I was a little nervous to be like, this is this person, this is this person. But we've gotten so close over this past weekend. So here's the introduction to everybody in the bridal party. We have Amika, Melissa D, Christina, Melissa the bride, Lana, and then me, Adeline. There's six girls total. But anyways, back to the video. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Did you see her pajamas? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait to wear these. I They're forgot so pajamas. Cute. I know, we all have matching. <laughs> Done the makeup. This is the bride. <laughs> She's my cousin. Her name is Melissa. And we're going to Tao Beach Club, first of all. I think that's the plan. Is Tao Beach Club, and then I think Sugar Factory, and then I think Magic Mike. She doesn't even know where we're going. I'm gonna change into my bathing suit. but we're going to Magic Mike. Yeah. I'm so dehydrated, I would do anything for a f***ing water right now. Woo! Magic Mike! We asked the guy where to go, and he immediately knew we were going to Magic Mike. Magic Mike! Pause in front of it! Woo! Yeah. 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 Y
annoying though because I think it was maybe the traffic from Lovers and Friends Fest. There's like a festival going on in Las Vegas that so the traffic and all of the roads were blocked off and it was so hard to get there. It felt like we were in an hour or in the Uber for an hour. So we ended up showing up to Magic Mike a little bit late and we were late to the show, but it was super, super, super hard. <laughs> Whatever happens in Vegas goes on YouTube, but also stays in Vegas. <laughs> Oh my god. It's the next day and I am awake now. I'm alive now, but I woke up so hungover. I don't know what it was. I even called Brianna and I was like, dude, I swear we would be able to go out. No problem. I never have a hangover, but I think it was all the sugar and all the Red Bulls that we had yesterday. <laughs> But it was so much fun. We had such a great time. We lived our bachelorette fantasy. <laughs> but what happens in Vegas, as we say, goes on YouTube. We took a bunch of like Polaroid photos. Today, we're supposed to go to the Lovers and Friends Festival. But I felt like sh the entire day. I'm just now starting to wake up and like feel alive again. So I think three of the girls are going to the Lovers and Friends Festival. Two of the girls are at the pool right now just chilling and I was like, guys, will you kill me if I just sleep? And they were like, Adeline, you went so hard last night. We totally understand. <laughs> and it was really fun, but I might be able to meet them later tonight because I think Usher's performing at nine, but we'll see how we feel. But oh my God, I needed to show you. I had no idea. Amika, she's the other maid of honor. I'm one and she's another one. She's two maids of honor. But she made everyone little look at this like these little kits bad sh crazy They're like little kits with like everything that you would need after um, a night of drinking a scrunchie electrolytes mint <laughs> Lollipops and candies and then we have like who's most likely first we have to fill this out. It's so cute Melissa's bachelorette. <laughs> we got a granola bar and candy, but it was so cute She was like, I don't know if you're feeling better like drink your electrolytes that you have in your packet And I was like my packet but we moved the balloons over here I think we're gonna take photos of it later to blow that one up more. This is my outfit today My swimsuit is from VDM the label. I love it. It's my favorite swimsuit that I have I think and then I'm wearing my little body chain from Posh and Pearls which is just like a small business owner she makes it out of Brazil and then my jeans are just Levi's but we're staying at the Aria and there's like a bunch of stuff downstairs I think I want to get maybe like a Starbucks just so that I can wake up and then maybe hang out by the pool super super lazy Sunday and I wouldn't have it any other way I think tomorrow is also gonna be a lazy day we're gonna do top golf is what's on the itinerary so yeah I don't know about going out though I know that there's some there's some places that are open on Sundays but I don't know if we're gonna go out tonight but <laughs> all of my stuff is just all over the place I swear we're all like borrowing each other's like bathing suits and outfits and I brought the biggest suitcase because everyone came from Canada and they brought their little suitcases but I brought my big one. I have my cover up even though I, honestly anything goes in Vegas like girls are wearing their bathing suits, girls are wearing club dresses, girls are wearing whatever they want so really anything kind of goes and then maybe some sunglasses. I brought my sunglass kit <laughs> with all my sunglasses in it. Ta-da! I don't know which one I want to wear. I think I'm going to wear these ones are becoming my favorite sunglasses are these vintage Chanel ones I got on Poshmark. I think this is the vibe. Let's go to the pool. Oh my god, I have my book too. Actually, I just got these. They're Prada sunglasses. I think I like these more. The book I'm reading is 101 essays that will change what you think. It's so good. Las Vegas. Turtle. Turtle. I'm gambling one dollar. Woo! Wake up. Just a make up. Woo! Come on, Brad. Brad. Guys, I won $200.42. Uh-oh. Woo! <laughs> I can't get up. I made $150. I won. I won. 
142 cents, but I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> Keep the second night was super fun. I didn't really expect us to go out because everyone was dead from the Lovers and Friends Festival. You guys know I didn't go because I was so hungover. My body literally wasn't letting me go. So I just had a chill day, chilled by the pool. It was really fun. Everyone was dead. Everyone was dead tired. And I was like, you know what? It's going to probably just be a chill night. It's a Sunday. So I don't think we're going to like go crazy on a Sunday. We have dinner at Javier's. It's super fun. And then my dumbass gets drunk off of two drinks and I'm like, let's take shots. <laughs> I buy everyone a round of, I think we got vodka. I think we got Tito's. And whoo, girl, it really did that for us. That one shot, it really did it for us. You know what I think? I don't think Vegas waters down their drinks. I think they want you to get drunk so that you gamble more. So I took out $100 and I was like, you know what? We're in Vegas. I never gamble. I'm not a big gambler. And I was like, this is like, we're at the Aria. It's a really nice like gambling casino. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take out hundred dollars. That's it. I'm not taking out any more only hundred dollars And if it if I lose it, it sucks But if I win then that's amazing too. It'll just be a fun like night So I get my hundred dollars and I put all of it on red and I got a tiny video of it But I didn't know that you're not allowed to record. Why are you not allowed to record though? That's one question that I have. Why are you not allowed to record? Anyways, I put a hundred dollars on red and I don't know how I felt it in my bones I felt it in my gut I was like I know I'm gonna win on red I felt it in my bones I've never been so confident in my life I knew I was going to win and what does it land on red we doubled our money to 200 and then Christina she knew a lot of the games I think we ended up playing blackjack and she ended up winning us an extra $50 well we lost some and then we won some and, we lost, and then she's like okay we're cutting ourselves off but she was like the ladies at the tables are really good at making you stay and lose all your money <laughs> she's like no nope, we're checking out but it was a really fun night it was way more fun than I thought because we were all dead tired and we ended up going out we said it was you know what it was fun because in Vegas the hotels are connected to the casinos they're connected to everything you could walk everywhere you could get drinks you could get food you could get alcohol everything is open super late at night and you could just walk I think that's why we had such a great time because it was just like easy and it was like a fun girls night took our group photo with all of our pajamas. <laughs> We've been meaning to do it the whole weekend. And of course, we have to do it 10 minutes before we check out of our hotel. Um, now we're on our way to, do you know? Taco. Yeah, Taco. I, we're really secretive about where we're going because Melissa doesn't know the itinerary, so. She knows the itinerary. She doesn't know? Oh. And you told her last night you were so excited, Adeline. I know, I couldn't hold it in. But we're changing out of our pajamas, we're putting on normal clothes, and we're heading on over to Taco. I love Taco. All of the feathers. I'm bringing you, we have all these extra tequilas. You bet your ass I'm bringing this home. And just like that, we are out of here. Goodbye. Bye, hotel room. We're leaving Vegas. <laughs> you know you did Vegas right when. Come on, LGBTQ. <laughs> Dropped off our suitcases. Um, that way we can pick it up later for all of our flights tonight. My flight's at six. I think Melissa's is at nine, and then everyone else is going to Toronto is at midnight. So woo! we dropped off our bags. We're so dead. We're gonna get Starbucks. I would die for an iced matcha. Oh, an egg bite. But I think we're gonna do Starbucks and then Top Golf, and I think they have dinner tonight. But my flight, my flight's at six. So I have to leave earlier. Thank you. Oh my god. Hi! Is it okay? Hi, you dog. Hi! Hi! <laughs> the little, the little crumb. Look at you! Such a cutie! Oh my goodness! I always check the license plate now. <laughs> FSH.
the best purchase ever. I love you guys. Right, now the third day that's when my body was like I don't if you have a sip of alcohol I will give up on you and you will pass out so I tried to take it pretty easy on the third night because we've been going so hard the last two nights we ended up going to Top Golf, which we made reservations for it was so fun I love Top Golf, and you know what I had a hangover that whole day and I hate to say it, and I hate to admit it but when you have a hangover if you take a shot or you take a drink it honestly really does cure it so we ended up taking shots well it was because i think melissa came up with the idea she's like the first person to miss a ball takes a shot second person or person who gets the um furthest yards gets to hand out a shot and she handed out a shot to me so i ended up taking one but honestly it kind of helped it kind of cured my hangover and that's the worst advice ever but it really did and then the girls went to catch my flight was at six so i wasn't able to eat at catch i was so jealous because catch is like the fanciest like bougiest restaurant and it's so nice but i had to make my flight i'm going to la and the other girls are going back to toronto but it was so fun i said bye i had a smooth ride home it was only like one hour and now we're back home with so many memories and it was so much fun and i'm so excited for her wedding her wedding is happening in july so still have a lot of time I think when I get back to Canada, we're gonna do our dress alterations, a lot of wedding stuff. You guys seem to really like the wedding vlogs and honestly, I kind of like it too. Like it's, I've never been a part of a bridal party before and this whole experience was really fun. So let me know if you want more like bridal party vlogs because it, it's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. And like, honestly, I watched, when I was hungover, I watched The Hangover and Bridesmaids and like, I don't know. I feel like weddings are finally starting again because you know, COVID and everything, everybody's weddings got pushed off. You guys know I did, um, a trying on dresses video maybe like two years ago from Melissa's wedding and she's been putting it off for years so it's finally happening but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog today's merch shout out of the day goes to Claire on Instagram she's wearing her I don't chase I attract hat which looks super cute wait let me wear mine I can't find mine I think I it's in my closet somewhere because I definitely brought it in my suitcase I don't know I don't see it but we still have some stock of the girls supporting girls I don't chase I attract what belongs to me will simply find me merch it's so cozy and i love the gray you guys were yelling at me in my dms because i posted it in my girl supporting girls it was like the forest green collection where is it this one and everyone was like restock it immediately but i love this merch and it's super different for me i always do girl supporting girls because you know that's just like the thing that we always do and we donate to a girls nonprofit organization every single time that there's a sale so if you guys want to check it out i always have it linked down below i also have an amazon storefront which i never really plug but i try to link as much as I can down the Amazon storefront, but I'm also trying to daily vlog on Sna uh, not Snapchat, TikTok. So <laughs> make sure that you're following me on TikTok. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog. Wait, I need a tip of the day. No, you know what? Tip of the day comes from my mind. Tip of the day is all a girl needs is some good girl best friends and a good girl's trip to remind yourself of the bad bitch that you are. I feel like there was so much bad energy in this trip and everyone is everyone on the trip is such a strong empowered woman and some of the girls I met for the very first time this weekend and some of the girls I've known for like years so it was super fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow same place same time love you guys bye oh my god also guess how much this water was when I was on the deep dark depths of my hangover when I was throwing up in the toilet when I was shaking and thinking that I was going to die this saved me and I go in the it's in the room it's just standing there I'm thinking oh it's probably like five ten dollars but I'm dying so I'm like it's fine I'm gonna pay five ten dollars for a water bottle we check out guess how much this bitch was 25 25 dollars for a water bottle huh what you got me so fed up Vegas that's a crime and you should not be able to do that and it should be illegal to charge people $25 for a water bottle when all they simply want to do is exist they want to get through the night okay and don't tell me to drink tap water I did drink the tap water okay <laughs> but I wanted a water bottle I couldn't move it was right there $25 that is a scam that is not okay do I regret it a little bit should the water bottles be five or ten dollars absolutely get out of my face in the $25 water bottles and they tried to charge me for three I was like okay I do admit I took two water bottles so I paid for the two water bottles but I'm like I did not take these you're like oh there's a sensor so if even if you move it then it counts as $25 I was like you got me so bent charging me $75 for three water bottles anyways I needed to go on a rant I'm